<laughs> Hi everybody, it's, uh, it's Kim Stapleton Head at uh, St. Joseph's Catholic High School here in Sunny Slough and it really is Sunny Slough today and it's Wednesday and it's the 27th and it's the day before we break up so this is a little bit more in the advance and that cheer that you're hearing in the background <laughs> it's for these two lads here who've um, got these rather uh, fetching um, medals around. Come on, hold them up, lads, and just tell us. This is John and Joe who've had a, an amazing week last week. Look at the size of those medals. Look at that. Okay, fellas, tell us like how, what are these for and what are you won for? So, uh, we went to the national championships for jiu jitsu on the weekend, and yeah, and uh, I won my first fight, but I lost in my second fight. But overall, you came. Uh, third, and, that, and that's in the, the national championships. That's the whole of Great Britain. I mean, that is immense, isn't it? And Joe, yeah. come on, tell us what you got involved as well. Um, so I, the competition was up in Birmingham. So um, we stayed at a hotel and then we went up early in the morning there. And um, on my first fight, I almost won on points, but the ref uh, didn't really see what happened. So robbed, he gave felt it robbed. To Felt yeah. robbed, but never mind. Next year, next year we'll be back with a vengeance. But you contributed to the whole team, and your whole team came where? Yeah, first. Didn't first. 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 We're the Farm best team in the a, country. Yeah, Farm was the tiny one down here. And then we went up north, and the, the biggest one there is probably Gracie Barha. Gracie Barha. Yeah. In the middle. It's huge and, there. The, and, and we've been going there 10 years, and we haven't won, but this year we came yeah. first. It's first, really so nice. Really yeah. pushing it back. It's absolutely incredible, lads. Feel good? Yeah. Yes. Feel really yeah. proud of what you did? Yeah. Yes. Really, really well done, and that uh, we had a whole girls, load of girls here cheering them on. Actually, we had to move them aside before we could anyway, could, before we could even take the video for them, and that's what happens, isn't it? Um, so, really, really well done. That's absolutely fantastic. What would you say to anybody aspiring to try and get to a national with a with sort of medal position? How, what, what encouragement would you give to them? What would you give words of wisdom or inspiration? Uh, keep practicing. Practice. practice. It keeps coming up, doesn't it? With people who win medals, practice, yeah. practice, 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 practice. And if at first you don't succeed. Practice try and try again. again. Practice some more. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Right, I've just got a couple of messages. First of all, big thank you to all the um, Year 11 parents who were here last night for the for the run-in for the the uh, GCC exams. Um, if you've got children who are in Year 11 or in Year 13, there are interventions happening over the over Easter. You'll find all the details of that in the newsletter that's going out for that. So we will see you back. We're breaking up here tomorrow at 12:30. Um, you may well have seen this by the time you get the video, um, but we'll be back here um, ready to go on the 15th of April. Um, and then just finally from us uh, lot here really, we've just had a, a wonderful mass here, finished here, Father Pius came down and celebrated for the whole school, just about a thousand of us actually within within there as well. And um, we just want to sort of, as we said sort of to the students in there, you know, a couple of, couple of weeks ago we had a BBC camera crew came in and they filmed some of the, the, the sixth form that we've got here and they spoke to them about what life is like in society, what are the kind of solutions that are going on from there and their experiences of it. And the camera crew afterwards came out and they just sort of said, um, we go, they kind of said, you know, look at these guys here, hearing what they had to say, hearing their visions of the future. There's a lot of despair out there in the news at the minute and not, not a lot of people really want to watch the news at the minute, but when they see what the young people have and what they're saying about the future, it gives them hope. And that's really important because the future is these guys. It is the children that's here, it is all of them here. And those six forms spoke really on behalf of all the students here. And when you hear other people who've really been travelled all around the world making films, whether in Afghanistan or Ukraine or in really, really tight places, they hear young people coming out and give them hope. That's a really great thing. So for all the students that have been out there today and competed in sports events for the school, for all the students that have gone out and involved in academic um, competitions for the school, for all those people that have gone out and won for the house competitions and been involved in getting house points for all the school, for all those students here that have gone out and competed in Thames Valley Learning Partnerships representing the school and doing so great. For everybody who was involved in the mass today, and there were many of them in there, for the choirs, for the, for the altar servers, for the other choirs, for the people who put it all together again. For everyone who's just gone out and just worked at bettering themselves just for the sake of their own betterment, they have actually contributed to the betterment of all society. And what we wanted to say to them at the end of this term is we're really, really proud of all those students, all everybody here, all gone about and doing it for them. So for them and for us, St. Joseph, pray for us.